on our way to St. Kitts Bass Terror. And that is our excursion to the historic Bass Terror and Fairview Great House. One and three quarters hours at 2 p.m. And sadly, we are not allowed to explore independently. And that means you can't even walk around the docks. Well, there goes a, the pilot boat that just escorted us into St. Kitts. St. Kitts was once a sugar-producing powerhouse. But now, instead of sugar, mangoes dominate. Ooh, I love mangoes. Together, St. Kitts and the neighboring island of, I'm not sure if you pronounce it, Nevis or Nevis, comprise the smallest independent country in the Americas. Independence Square in the heart of town and its market was once where they sold slaves. Good morning and welcome to Travels with Sheila. We're standing on the jetty or the pier. Yeah, on St. Kitts. Actually, the town of Moss Terre. We are not allowed to walk through town by ourselves, but we are allowed, I feel like a prisoner, to get off here and we're, Steve and I are just going to walk back and forth on the pier a few times just to get some exercise. Yes, we can walk on the decks on the ship, but I, want, I feel freer this way. We do have an excursion this afternoon, so it's another day at sea, another day of eating, another eating orgy. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Our cabin is one of those. We are starboard side aft, and I'm very happy with our location. This is the main restaurant, or restaurant right there below us, so we walk this way, down a flight of stairs, and we are there. In the old days when there were puddle jumpers between islands, I got stuck on St. Kitts for a whole day just in their little airport because whatever airline we were flying at the time developed a mechanical. As I said, we are not allowed to take independent tours. Now, I don't know what NCL's rules are. The compact capital, main port Basseterre, is one of the oldest towns in the Eastern Caribbean, dotted with Victorian and Georgian architecture. And the water is pretty darn clear over here. Well, I don't see any fishies. Winston is our guide and driver, and there are exactly six of us on the bus, which makes me happy. This is where we have to pay our taxes, like the land and house tax. You could see our Piccadilly Circus, the Big Ben Clock, or you could say the Berkeley Memorial. And Mr. Berkeley, he was an old legislative council around 1880. You're going to see the volcanic rocks underneath and the board on top. That was to prevent from flooding and also termites. We had a very big termite problem here. 3% of that still. In 1867, if you take a look straight across the road, there's the top of that building. The top of that building also got destroyed by a fire as well. This is where they used to auction off the slave to work on the sugar plantation. But remember this date. September 19, 1983. The same day we got independent was the same day they renamed it from Parapal Square to Independent Square. It used to be an old slave auction market. But take a look on your right at street level. You're going to see three windows. Those are what you call the basement or the cellars. That is where they used to keep the slave, nurse them, and when they were healthy, they would walk in the square to be auctioned off. It is an old Georgia store building. This is where the sugar plantation owners, that's where the plantation owners used to live. It used to be an old Georgia store building. Now all these buildings around the square Catholic Church. Now the cornerstone was laid on that church around 1927. The of Queen Victoria. But for some reason the monument is not there anymore. And Victoria was the longest serving monarch until a few years ago 
where Queen Elizabeth took over for that. It's so our Bastille yes. Police Station to hold up to 100 prisoners. And up to today, that is the only prison we have on island. We call it our magistrate prison. It's one of nine Anglican churches we have on island. But this is the biggest one. This is the main one. It opens from Mondays to Saturday. Saturday is our busiest market day. Today. That is nervous. Now we're going to take a look inside of the memorial. Now this house belongs to the governor of our money. Our money are what we... One road runs around the whole island and it takes exactly one hour. Three is to protect their eggs and young ones That's from rats dangerous. and mongoose. Those three is what you call a thorn tree. They have steel. The mongoose did a very good job. Now we have a slight problem. Egrets were born here on hurricanes. They are not indigenous to the area. Fairview Great House. This is part of the tour. God, our guy driver Winston talks so loud with his mic. I mean, he has a mic. Got a headache. I know you're probably thinking by now nothing ever satisfies me. What's with Sheila? Everywhere you take her, she's complaining. <laughs> Hang your wig right there. Beautiful house. That's the more important part. The Mannings, plantation suppliers. Fairview is the only surviving French great house in St. Kitts, built by a French commander at the end of the 17th century. It has had French, Irish, Scottish, English, Portuguese, Spanish, American, and West Indian owners at various times. Let's go see the, oh, nice size room with great breezes. Beautiful room. Please do not use the commodes. It says please do not sit. Absolutely. Especially since nothing is connected. The original kitchen building with a volcanic stone and a brick oven. In colonial times, kitchens were built out of volcanic stone a short distance from the great house in order to reduce the risk of fire to the wooden great houses. The stone oven is now used periodically to bake breads and pizzas. Well, let's go see. Let's go bake a pizza. Pizza. Beautiful. Hi. Uh, hi, roasting peanuts there? Yes, on the island. Where you guys are from? Chicago. Chicago. So what do you know about peanuts? Sir? What do I know about peanuts? Mm -hmm. I know they're grown underground. Mm -hmm. I've seen them raw. I've seen them grown. Mm -hmm. I've seen them crushed. I've seen them roasted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, yeah. Have, you haven't seen them boiled before? I uh, No, I have not seen them boiled. Okay. Is that what you do? You boil them? We boil some. We boil them as well, but yes. today we are doing them, roasted them. Yes, so what we do, right, we get the, the volcanic sand from the sea. Uh-huh. We put it in a, a yabba pot, or you could say a coal pot. We put in the walnut. I like your pot. We, let, great we pot. let it heat up by the coals. Mm -hmm. We put in the walnut and we turn it every five to seven minutes oh, until it's cooked. There are the peanuts. And this is the old cow rim. So last night I took off your cow rim from your vehicle. So if you get back home tomorrow and you miss it, it's the same thing. Okay. And then we let it. We let the sand cover the nut and, and cook. They're similar to planting. You can't leave them, otherwise they're going to burn. It's a slavery exhibit here. Yes, Africans did sell their own people, and they still do. Many tribes still capture people that are used as slaves. I had completely forgotten that Nevis is where Alexander Hamilton was born. And now I know it's pronounced Nevis, not Nevis. We're back. 
Chassé, 